So if I look in your computer right now, I'm probably going to find something pretty embarrassing. It's going to be something you don't want people to see. It's going to be something that no one should even know about. I'm talking about .n files. Really? This guy again? In this video, I'm going to talk about why .n files are even a problem and how SST avoids them altogether. So let's take a look at what the .n workflow actually looks like so we can understand where the problems show up. So typically you have a .n file that contains a bunch of stuff your application needs to run. This can be anything from database credentials to API keys you need to access third party services to random bits of configuration like what bucket to upload user profile images to. You might have different versions of this file for different environments, local, staging, production, and whatever else. And when a new developer joins a team, you typically just copy your .n file, give it to them so they can bring up the application locally. Because there's no central source of truth, this can get kind of messy in practice. What do you do if you push a new change and it depends on new configuration value? What happens if an API key leaks and you need to rotate it? You're stuck chasing your team down and making sure they update their .n files. And it's not just people that need these values. You have systems all over the place that need access to them. Your front end needs to know your API URL, your API needs to know about your database, your database needs to know about some other thing for some reason. It can be hard to keep all this stuff in sync. And don't even get me started on the security of all this. If your team just has these potentially sensitive values thrown around in random files everywhere, they're going to get stolen. Any program on your computer can read these files and that's how you end up with a crypto miner running in your AWS account. And this has happened to me a lot of times. The reason for this chaos is because there's a whole set of things that are important for your application that exists outside of your code base. You're going into a bunch of UIs and configuring a bunch of things and you're using the .n file to capture that state. The question is, is there a better way? So you can actually solve all these problems by hitting that like button and giving us a subscribe. Did you fall for it? Had to give it a shot. This is where infrastructure as code tools come in. I know that sounds kind of complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. The idea is you define all the resources that you need alongside your application code using code. That way your application has direct access to all the values it needs without you having to specify anything manually. Everything is automated. Let's take a look at SST's infrastructure as code component to see how you use TypeScript to spin up your resources and then access them in your application in a fully type safe way. So whether you're setting up a full SST application or dropping it in on top of another framework, you will have an SST config file. In this file, you can use TypeScript to spin up the resources you need. Create a database to store some data, throw in a queue to queue up some work. If you have scheduled tasks, you can use a cron job. If you need to store files, throw in a bucket. Whatever you need to do, there's probably an SST construct that can do it. By the way, any configuration you need to do can be done right here. SST will take care of deploying these resources so you never have to log into a UI to do any manual configuration. From here, you can bind these resources to wherever you use them. That could be an API, a Next.js app, an Astro app. It doesn't matter. It's all going to be type safe from your infrastructure all the way to your application code. It's even aware of all your different environments so that production, staging, whatever, all get the right values. For secrets like your Stripe API key, you can set a production key for your production environment and a sandbox key to be used across all your developer environments. That way you can set it once and be sure that it has the right value no matter where it's used. And these values don't sit around on your computer. They're kept in a database designed specifically for storing secrets and managed by people whose only job is to prevent them from getting stolen. And that is it. We have solved two problems here today. No more .n files. And more importantly, all of your resources are now tracked in code, so you'll never be manually syncing anything again. My name is Dax, and this has been a whole bunch of stuff. Hope it was useful. I'll see you in the next one.